from my perspective, from Israel perspective, we can see we are now just uh, two weeks ahead of uh, Quds Day, uh, International Quds Day, and then we, really, we will probably hear Iranian uh, stating again how they feel about Israel and the United States uh, in the last uh, week, the last Friday of the, of the Ramadan. Um, and connecting this to the, um, to the upcoming elections in June, I think the, um, the election will not change anything in Iranian uh, malign uh, behavior in, uh, in uh, the region. And I think the, uh, what the American um, administration is trying to do in uh, Vienna, and now I heard that uh, William Barnes is in Baghdad, coincides with Zarif being in Baghdad. Uh, I think we should look at, to other places, not just Vienna, to see what's going on in the uh, upcoming, uh, the reloading JCPOA. Uh, or JOSPA, one, one uh, president said. Um, I think if there will be, there are a lot of candidates uh, in the Iranian presidential election. You mentioned uh, Dahran, and of course there are others. Ibrahim Raisi is the conservative uh, um, candidate, and of course, uh, Muhammad Jawad Zarif with his uh, leaked uh, interview and I think he, he sees himself as a, he wants to bid for presidency. And we can see in the last few days or weeks even, a lot of, he draws a lot of fire from a conservative uh, camp. And in Iran, we see a lot of cartoons depicting him as a target back of, of the, uh, of the um, uh, American administration using his back for, to snipe on the Iranian industry. There are very good cartoons depicting uh, uh, Zarif. And I think he, uh, the conservative camp is um, trying to target him, to, to smear him, to blame him for the collapse of the Iranian economy, uh, for conducting very poor negotiations on the JCPOA. Um, but if you go back to, to the region, I think uh, the Iranian Milan activity will not, uh, will not change. Uh, on the contrary, uh, we can see if, if we just take, for instance, uh, Yemen as a, the, the experiment uh, ground for Iranian uh, latest developments in drones, uh, cruise missiles, ballistic missiles, and we can see every week we witness uh, attacks on Saudi oil infrastructure, the Aramco infrastructure, infrastructure in uh, places in. Uh, in Saudi Arabia and also missile firing from Iraqi militias towards uh, Saudi, uh, towards Saudi uh, Arabia. And uh, also the conflict in Yemen is not on the verge of being uh, resolved and we, can know, we, we know very well the Iranian activity uh, in the region. From Israeli perspective, what I'm worried is the technologies that the Iran, the missile technologies and other uh, waterborne technologies in Iran is using in Yemen, uh, we'll, we'll see these technologies, these tactics um, in, in, in future, um, in future uh, confrontations between uh, Hezbollah and Israel, Israeli gas rigs in the, in, the, in the Mediterranean. And we can see that Iran tried to copycat tactics from Yemen to the, to the Mediterranean, uh, as it did in the past from copycatting, <coughs> copycatting uh, IDs, the FPs from, from Lebanon to Iraq and other places <coughs> where coalition, <coughs> sorry, where coalition forces uh, are, are deployed. Um, so th this is one of the biggest uh, uh, worries uh, that they have concerning Iran activity uh, in the region. And of course, Iran uh, gaining more uh, money uh, as a result of the reloaded uh, JCPOA, uh, could make them uh, turn more more uh, effort to financing uh, Hezbollah and other uh, organization uh, in the region. Of course, now Iran. I think if we look from Iranian perspective, uh, and I think Iran sees everything, uh, at least in the past, as a divine interventions, and we, <clears throat> and we tend to neglect the religious part of the Iranian thinking. From the Iranian point of view, there is, there is, and they believe 
that there is a divine intervention in, in what's happening in, in the strategic vision in, in this region. For instance, uh, the Americans did the job in Afghanistan for them, then Saddam Hussein, then the wars in, in Gaza and in, in Lebanon, and now uh, they survived uh, four years of, um, of, of sanctions and, and they survived it. And from that perspective, it, it, it's a sign. It's important signs, too important for them to give up uh, their stand in the current negotiations in Vienna or other places uh, in the region. And I think this, this uh, development, this divine intervention as they see it, uh, will enable them to, to proceed with their export of the revolution, um, which is one of the most important pillars of, 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 of Iran, to export the revolution, Shiite version, the Isna Sharia version of the revolution uh, to Iraq, uh, to, to Lebanon, to Syria, and, and, and other places uh, in, in Bahrain and other places where the uh, uh, majority of Shiites in, in Bahrain. Uh, and I think Iran will see more of this, especially if, if sanctions will be uh, removed and Iran will feel free. Uh, it, it also, it, it now feels some kind of, of a relief, though the domestic situation is very poor. That they feel it really, we can see that they are very confident in Vienna. We can see one line, one line in Iran concerning what should be done in Vienna. A verification of American lifting of the sanction and then Iran uh, reverse its, uh, um, the steps that it took uh, to, to uh, as a reprisal for the, uh, um, uh, the, the steps that the, uh, um, that the Europeans cannot provide for the JCPOA. Um, so to sum it up, we can see that Iran will be uh, more confident. We'll see uh, more Iran boldness in their uh, regional um, subversion and the terrorist ac activity, especially in Iraq and Yemen and, and, uh, and, and Syria, in, in Syria. Would you say, Mickey, that this is going to happen either way? I mean, both if they if they gain more money and they are, have more resources to go farther in this direction, and if they are put under pressure and they want to put pressure on the Americans, they will also escalate uh, in the in the region. I think they, they are already. Uh, I think they are already do, uh, doing it. They, they demonstrated that they can do it. They did it a few times, very uh, uh, precise with, with very precise. Um, um, let's say how, how to put it, uh, they demonstrate that they, they have the capability uh, to hurt Americans where they, where they are exposed. In Iraq, in the green zone, they, they, can, they can make the, the Shia militias in Iraq fire almost at will. Uh, when, when there is a sign from Tehran, they are doing this. They, they also uh, made the, the, the Shia militias in Iraq fire from Iraq to Saudi Arabia, which was rather new. And the, I think that they put all their tools uh, at sea in the Gulf, uh, the Persian Gulf or the Arab Gulf, if you want to intimidate the Iranians. Uh, they show their uh, capability uh, to use all kinds of measures to, uh, to target uh, the United States interest, both military and civilian interest in, in Iraq and other places.